It all started a long, long time ago. I was a victim of Mr. Beast. <laughs> There's another one coming out at the time of recording. The reason I have to specify the time of recording is because I would see an allegation, wait a day, and then all of a sudden there's like 10 more, so I'm just going to upload this now. Well, it's just one small allegation. How bad can it be? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. uh <laughs> At this point, it feels like people were in their own books about how Mr. Beast did them dirty because, golly, I'm just going to start from the beginning. It all started with this person right here. At first, I was confused. I'm like, who the heck is that person? I saw them on my recommendations, but I'm like, I don't really care. And then a friend told me, have you seen the Mr. Beast drama? I'm like, Mr. Beast? Wait a minute. It's, it's Chris or, you know, whatever. And then I went to the rabbit hole and then my goodness, what I found was a little bit, um, Mr. Beast, what kind of challenges you be holding nowadays? First person in this circle to blow Ava up the best gets half a million dollars. And then people mentioned the poster in his wall and I didn't really like get the severity until I realized that is an underage child that's on the poster. Like even Mr. Beast is like, what the heck, Crush? What the heck? If he just had something funny, we wouldn't be in this situation, how would we? But having minors on his wall wasn't his only special team. He also texted them profusely. Wow. Love is a weird person to talk about because they say they're not a victim, but they clearly are. And Lava right now is like, oh, I've seen the leaks. It's not as, it's bad. It's bad. But then he's like, but go after this person, not Chris, go after this one instead. And I'm just like, dude, how are you not a victim? Like, what? These are some of the allegations that Ava's been accused of, but... If you don't want to read it, I'll go over it shortly. This was a couple of years ago, but Jeanette McCurdy or Sam from iCarly, you know, the woman who wrote about, you know, how glad she is that her mother's dead. Yeah, that girl. She had a boyfriend. I'm not sure if it's him specifically or another boyfriend, but he got a little bit salty. He's, uh, I'm guessing she didn't put enough butter in his sock because he decided to leak her nudes. And Chris was like, well, well, I don't endorse it, but here's the link in the description with some images and the fact I got them in HD quality. In fact, just zoom in on them. Right, right, right. But um, the link's in the description if you want to see them. I mean, I'm not endorsing people to go look at somebody else's private business, but I know that, uh, you know, people might want to see them, so there, it's there if you want it. He openly said, I don't endorse it, but here's the link to see the, the tatas just out exposed and then later on he goes i know people off themselves because of their news being leaked but still let me just show you in the link <laughs> so i don't really get it and i get why he's getting flack for that back to present day this man was posting not safe for work almost all the time allegedly and this reaction is funny he's like oh wait oh it's hentai never mind like, he sounded so disappointed he also sent links he sent shadman links to be more specific and if you don't know who shadman is like i said earlier he drew a not safe work image of this guy's eight-year-old daughter that's enough to tell you that he's no good he allegedly posted himself but booty naked in front of the kitties you know he just wanted them to see him he would make said kitties call them papa and we're back to Lava because that is one of the main victims. Like, he says he's not a victim, he's a victim. At first he said, no, he did nothing wrong. And then he also said, we did not scrub anything out. We didn't clean nothing. Everything that happened on Discord, it's all, it's all good. And then this guy came out, another victim was like, no, I have the screenshot. This man said he was going to wipe out everything. Anything not safe for work, blah, 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 blah. So Lava came back later and was like, Oop, oopsies, I forgot. I, I forgot. I'm still not a victim, though, even though, you know, I mean, if you were, <laughs> I mean, if you said this when you were young, you're a, <laughs> you're kind of a victim. Here's a couple of other screenshots, you know, he would make him call him, like he said, big boys. He would talk about how he loves PlayStation to be 13 years old. I mean, if he's doing a Drake impression, he's doing fantastic. Well, actually, maybe he was just in a Discord server, and there were just those two, those two minors. He didn't know there was more people. Maybe it was a server full of old, distinguished gentlemen. You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. 
Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! Squidward! I'm putting on my spectacles right now and I'm spectating, and my goodness. You can tell that there's no one above the age of 18. Even if we don't, even if we say there's more people, these are 30 minors. Even then, they're still talking about an opening. Like, look at this. You're fine as long as you're older than seven. Chris's, Chris's rules above seven. Just know that he's a big old poopy stinky head and you shouldn't just be behind him anymore. This is why Chris is my favorite Mr. Beast member. He reads me my Bible bedtime stories every day. He never misses it. But on to Mr. Beast, the man everyone's been waiting for. What am I going to talk about? The allegation that he steals people's clothes? What about the whole dislike fiasco where Keemstar was like, Welcome right back into the news. I, I don't know his catchphrase. And then he was like, Mr. Beast has half a million dislikes. And then a couple of hours later, he's like, Mr. Beast did not have half a million dislikes. I was definitely not paid. I was no, no, he's pure as meth. That's Mr. Beast right there. He couldn't be any worse. What about Dog Pack 404? Am I going to talk about that? Mr. Beast faking his videos? They were fake? Of course they were fake! I mean, I don't really care that he faked his single videos. Like, if their videos not including contestants or money, I don't really care that they're fake. Surely you'll talk about Mr. Beast and how he starved his contestants. How this one girl was just asking for food. She was like, please, please, the beast, please, I need nutrients, I need sustenance in my body. Only for them to be like, here's half a banana, which is... It's a little bit... It's comically evil. <laughs> you want food? <laughs> well, here's half a banana. Bon appetit. Uh, it's like, why Why half a banana? <laughs> why <laughs> Why not the full banana? It's like, are the other workers eating? Are they starved too? Weakness of any kind completely revolts me. Well, I talk about how he fakes his lotteries and that whole mess where he encourages kids to gamble. Actually, yeah, I will talk about that bit later. But I want to go over the video about Dog Pack where he mentioned this guy called Delaware. Can you figure out which one of these is a sexual offender? You're right. It's the one with the black tape. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, can you make this guy look not more suspicious? This man came from the little low state of Delaware. That's why when you look up Delaware, that's he's probably going to show up. But he's not called Delaware because he's banned. He's called Delaware because he's born from there, which is... Still an odd nickname, but whatever. I went back to check that video and they, they censored the newest video. They're not censoring this one. They're letting people go crazy. <clears throat> and wait a minute, wait. Mr. Beast isn't returning to... Oh, my Fortnite Jimmy stocks are going to go down. This is negatively going to affect the market. <laughs> and I'm... A victim of Mr. Beast. I'm a victim of Mr. Beast. You know the guy from Fire Force where he like smiles because he's under stress? That's that's me. That's me. I'm I'm deeply traumatized by Mr. Beast. Don't don't you be rolling your eyes against me. I I am scarred. But not our Jimmy. Couldn't be precious Jimmy. Stealing them blind. Yeah, I still have the Mr. Beast box. He's at the doorstop. But look at this. Uh, my Mr. Beast ice packs. Worth 1,000 other worth two pennies. Godly. What's wrong with you? That's just an ordinary shirt. Who cares? Oh my goodness. Yeah, saying you supported Mr. Beast is pretty much like coming out gay in the USSR in 1933. It's not something you want to do. The red scare? Nah, 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 nah. The lavender scare. But I couldn't help it. I was raised poorly. I needed the money. I spent money to get the money. I even talked about it in my video, Mr. Beast, a couple of years ago. At least I wasn't a poor sap that was eating Mr. Beast's box. What the heck? But enough about the chocolate scam. There's one other thing I'm really peeved off about. Mr. Beast, you really rattled my bucket. Dropping money 365 billion days. Mr. Beast, you never commented. What the heck? I was working day and night. I met your son. I met Mr. Son. Still haven't paid him, I assume, too. I met Mr. B Shorts. I met Mr. Beast himself. And I also met Mr. Freak. We don't talk about Mr. Freak. I forgot which day specifically, but someone commented, You will get to see Mr. Beast. I will contact him post haste. 
honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's one of Chucky's alt. Because Chucky is everywhere. If you need a Mr. Beast meat writer, he is right. He's he cleaned it all. There's no more there's no more to slop up, right? He he's there. I'm gonna throw out this video as fast as I can because like I said, if the more I wait, the more people come out every single day. Why I work for Mr. Beast. What kind of fool do you take me for? He worked for Mr. Beast. He worked for Mr. Beast. You work for Mr. Beast. I work for Mr. Beast. Are there any more Mr. Beast workers I should know about? Meow. I'm out of here. I should upload this quickly because I'm getting a little bit scared. That box is writing a cease and desist notice.